there. Triple cats and dogs. Got a little free play coming. Hopefully, there we go. We got 35 bucks. Let's see. Can make a little magic happen. Three bucks to spin. Here we go. Come on. Give me something. That would have been sweet. Come on. Line hit would be nice. Right about now, please. Spin. Nothing. 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 You got me and my free play. All right, there. White ice. Starting it off here with five spins, 20 bucks a spin. You know what? Going over the triple stars there next. And then, well, let's make some magic happen here. And then we'll see what we're going to do. Five spins. 20 bucks a spin, be nice. White ice, here we go. Come on. Handle. Ooh, take that diagonal. Last one. Oh. Thought I was getting it, but I didn't. Okay. Come on. Five spins here. Get my card working, which it never does on the first try. We're gonna try now. I think it is working. Drum roll. Is it working, is it working, is it working? Yes, it's working. All right, five spins at good old Triple stars, come on. Let's see if we can't make some magic happen right here. <sighs> Love to see those triples. On the line, please. Come on. Ooh, could have joined the party there. Triple. One seven. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now a triple there would have been nice, but we'll take that. Hey, Greg, my hand's on the, <laughs> the reel this time, and it still is lucky, but I still remember that $800 win. Come on, do it again. All right, we'll give it four one credit spins, just for giggles. See if I can get a little more. One more. Seven. Oh. Righty then. Three more. Again. Oh. Ooh, take that top line for 10 bucks. Last one. Yep. All right. 380. Nice number. Half of what I got on that white ice the last time. Are we gonna do the same thing as last time? I don't know, guys. We shall see. Trying to make this magic happen again. Cheers. All right there, Wheel of Fortune. We're back here again. Triple stars was nice, up 260 right now. 50 bucks here, another 100, 100. Not losing today, but hopefully we're gonna make some more magic happen. And hear that Wheel of Fortune coming from here when they're on the line. Five bucks a spin. Here we go. Come on. Seriously? Got to do it this way? No way. Every time? Better give me the spin. Hey, that's pretty good. $14 winner. All right, I'll do it every time. You keep doing that. Come on. No 
No max bet. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> Anything there except the spin. I'm taking a cherry. All right, again. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Come on, give me a spin now. I'll take a $50 winner and get out of this machine. Come on, spin. Something. Ah. Stingy now. Spin. All right. I'm not going to give it all back. Spin. You're teasing me now. I'm going to take it all away. Yep. Give me something. Ouch. Last spin. I'm preserving 25 bucks because I know the game. Let's go try 100 bucks, 10 spins at a $10 machine. All right, they're bonus frenzy. Let's see if it'd be nicer than Wheel of Fortune. Give me a $500 line hit. I'll just take the 100 pay. Like triple stars did. Come on, ten dollar spins. We got ten of them. Be nice. Bonus frenzy. Come on, let's do it. Give me those sevens for once. Hey, hey that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Bonus frenzy. You did me a solid. <laughs> uh, let's see what the backup spin does. Come on. Wow. Second time I've got it. That's the highest I've ever gotten on this machine is the 100 pay on a mixed line hit. But 500 bucks, we will take that. Give me some more. Come on. More, more, more. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. It's gonna play Red, White, and Blue Deluxe next. Why not? Come on, two more spins. Taking 500 out of here for sure. Last one. All right. Hey, bonus frenzy, you did me a solid. Just like triple stars, another $500 winner. Ask and you shall receive. All right, let's see what red, white, and blue can do. Cheers. Red, white, and blue deluxe. Let's see, can you be as nice as bonus frenzy just was? Give me another $500 win. You know I'm going out here a winner. Worked out this time. So? 10 spins, 10 bucks a spin. Be nice, red, white, and blue deluxe. You're not silent, but you got really low volume. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Take that, a $400 hit. Wow, snack time is coming. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Wow, wow, wow. Come on, do it again. Oh, seriously? Could have been another 500. Oh, you're teasing me now. You're gonna give it to me. You're gonna give it to me. Oh, all right. Maybe a second hand pay on this machine? 
Ooh. Hmm, four hundred dollar winner right now. Five more spins. Five more spins. Imagine triple bars again, but can't complain. Last one. Nice. Let's do a few more. One more. All right. Gonna print that ticket. $420 winner here too. Wow, wow, wow. Cheers all. I think a little Bucks and Banter's coming next. Maybe I'll do it at Blazing Sevens right over there. I think I will. Cheers. Blazing Sevens in a dollar version with 30 bucks in there means it's bucks and banter time and you just saw this in the distance over from red white and blue deluxe which gave me a 420 dollar winner as you know great day today starting off with triple stars got a question from ebony man and ebony man wants to know do you drink more when you are playing high limit machines and what's the biggest bet you've ever made on a slot to be honest i will be drinking now after i've won I know there's a snack coming in this video, so I'm psyched about that. And I will go celebrate with a cocktail or two. Go have a nice lunch. And then get the heck out of here. <laughs> Seven. Oh, man. Let's add a little bit more, right? Um, I have had my biggest bet. Actually, $200 is the most I have ever bet. And actually, that was by accident at uh, top dollar when I thought it was like Wheel of Fortune with a $100 max bet, not 200. So I put five in thinking I had five spins and I only had two and a half. And the last spin, I had no money left to even spin it off, or I should say, make it a full credit. And no, I didn't get the top dollar symbol. I got nada. That was one of my worst videos, but that video's gotten like a half million views, go figure. Guess it was in the right place at the right time. So I thank you for those Bucks and Banter questions. I also thank the slots for being super nice today. And if you have a Bucks and Banter question, guys, you know, you can ask it in any video, hashtag BB, and it might be answered in an upcoming video. And with that, let's see if we can't get anything to happen. And the last spin, here we go. Yeah, we'll spin it down, what the heck. See if those sevens can't come on the line and three more spins. Be a $300 winner. All right, two more. Evening it out. Ooh, double bars would have been nice. For 40 bucks, last one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was an awesome session. Snack time is coming up. But as always, I thank you for your support. I thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for your kind and awesome comments. More old school slots to come. As long as they're here, I will keep playing them. So keep playing them all you can, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much. Well, after that awesome win, it's time for a celebration snack appetizer. Today, we're making mom's recipe from her good friend, Betty. We call these Betty's Triangles. They are sausage and beef and a little kicked up cheese, which I'll get into, and they're absolutely delicious. Very easy to make, very easy to store, very easy to pop into the oven and prepare them for company. And I'm gonna show you how to make these bad boys with mom's help. Absolutely, anytime. Right now. All right, guys, so here we have the ingredients to make these delicious triangle hors d'oeuvres. 
rye bread, pumpernickel bread. Usually I can find two inch square pieces. They call them party rye or party pumpernickels. I don't know, supply chain problems. I can't find them, but we can improvise and just cut these regular uh, sized slices very easily. One pound of chopped meat, that's 80-20 fat content. Uh, breakfast sausage, it's about a pound. Cheese, now, usually the recipe calls for Velveeta. I like to kick it up a notch, so I have half a pound of Fontina and half a pound of Gruyere. I think that makes it a little bit more refined of an hors d'oeuvre, if you will. Right, Ma? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And it's also better for your health. Better for your health than Velveeta. Sorry, Velveeta. You know, mac and cheese, <laughs> awesome. Velveeta shells and cheese, awesome. Salt, oregano, onion powder, and a little bit of pepper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown the uh, sausage as well as the chopped meat and drain it in a skillet, get the cheese cut up into cubes, and then we will take it from there. All right, Ma, you ready to do this? Absolutely, let's do it. All right, be right back, guys. All right, so we browned the beef as well as the pork, and now all I'm gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of oregano, you know, about a teaspoon, a little less. Not really gonna put any salt because there is so much salt in the cheese. I think it'll be just fine. And just gonna sprinkle a little oregano in there as well. And mom had the brilliant idea because we're not using Velveeta. Why not just shred the cheese instead of cutting it up into cubes? So, good job, Ma. Thank you for that tip. That's a good one. Uh, kicking it up a notch. Kicking it up a notch with a little different cheese flavor. But now we can add the Fontina and the Gruyere. Thanks, huh? This is gonna be cheese. Yep. That's okay, it'll melt. <laughs> all right, and now we're just gonna mix it up until it's all melted in there and ooey gooey and ready to go. And then we're gonna take it and simply spread it onto the bread and then let it set there and then get it ready for your appetizer party. Mm -hmm. So I'll be right back when this is all nice and melted in there. There we go, all melted and incorporated in there and this is ready to go. Now all we're gonna do is take it over to the bread which is already placed on cookie sheets and disperse it on. Be right back. All right. So now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna take a spoonful and put it onto the bread. I'm gonna do this. And mom's already got one done. And all you're gonna do is basically spread it out, let it set, and then we're gonna pop it into the freezer for about 15 minutes. So it hardens, and then we can cut it into the triangle shapes. And then you just put it in your Ziploc bag. You can keep them frozen. You can put them in the fridge if you're gonna use them immediately. And they last for months. And you can pop them in the, in the oven for an easy, quick appetizer. So we're And it's delicious. And it's delicious because this has been around for a long time, as I said. And everybody loves it. Betty's Triangles, that's all they're known as. All right. And we don't even know where Betty got the recipe from, but. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we love it. All right, we'll be right back when these are all done, show you them before they pop into the freezer. And here's the tray ready to go in the freezer. Again, we're just gonna pop it in the freezer for 15 minutes, let it set, and then cut them, and they're ready actually to eat, but you toast them a little bit in the oven anyway, and they are delicious. Be right back. All right, these have been in the freezer for 15 minutes, and all they're gonna do is come over and just give them a cut one way and cut them like that. Not as elegant as when they are perfect triangles, but they are hors d'oeuvres nonetheless. Ah, they look fine. They look fine, mom's seal of approval. All right. Gotta work around the camera, which I'm not used to doing, but it's all good. And then we cut it and it's ready. Okay, now what you do with these guys is you just pop them into the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes if they are not frozen, or you just make them and serve them later. Put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the freezer, they're good for a long time, and then you can serve them when you need it. 
If they're frozen, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until the cheese is a little bubbly. But we're gonna cook some of these up and show you the finished product and dig in and be right back. And there you have it, guys. Betty's triangles, well, quasi triangles. We've already gone over <laughs> why I can't get those cocktail breads with the things going on these days, but they are absolutely delicious. And mom is salivating right now, ready mm, to grab I know, them. I can't wait to have one. <laughs> <laughs> mom and I thank you for watching this celebration snack. You know, when there's a celebration snack, that means the slots were nice to us. That's so right. it's awesome to do this because we love it. And we love it when you give it a thumbs up, when you subscribe, those kind and funny comments are awesome. Play the old school slots while you can, guys. Play them while you can. And I will keep giving these celebration snacks a whirl at the end of those winning videos. Yeah, and I hope you enjoy the ones that we made today because we know that we always love to have them. Awesome. Cheers all. Thank you so much for watching Bye. Old School Slots.